Hi everyone, thanks for joining us at Kaylor Ace Wellness Channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Today we'll be doing that full standing, full body mm -hmm. stretch. Um, so make sure that you have plenty of space to kind of move around, but again, we'll stay standing the whole time. And if anything doesn't feel good, please feel free to skip mm -hmm. it. And I hope you enjoy, let's get mm -hmm. standing. Oh, welcome everyone. Um, so we'll be doing a full body standing stretch today. So we're just gonna get started anywhere on your mat. And all we're gonna do is just inhale, roll the shoulders down, back in a way, drawing the belly button in towards the spine. Big inhale up through the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. One more time, big inhale, drawing up all the way through. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Perfect start, let's bend the knees, inhale, circle, sweep up the arms. We're gonna take our right hand, shoot it straight up and over. Or the left, do you wanna just have that? There you go. <laughs> For this big side body stretch, we're taking that top hand reaching all the way up and over, fingertips pointing to the other side of the mat, arm by the ear. Big side body stretch, gentle compression onto the left side. Inhale, opposite arm comes up, we'll lower it down, reach up and over. Again, same stretch. Nice big move over, hey bud. We'll bring both hands up. We're gonna take our hands, put them right onto our thighs. We're gonna bend into the knees like a mini chair. So we're just gonna shift our weight into the toes. And we're gonna try to lift our hips up like we're gonna be doing a nice big forward fold, but we're gonna keep that bend. So we want the weight to be in the toes and we're just lifting up. So you can see my knees are still bent pretty well, but I'm starting to get that stretch through the hamstrings. So we just make sure we're breathe slowly going through. If you like me with tight hamstrings, this is a big stretch. We're not really trying to overstretch here. We're just trying to slowly warm up the body. So we're gonna shift our weight into the heels and squat a little bit further, making sure we're tucking our pelvis under, keeping the chest lifted, and we're gonna get that stretch through the calf. So we're getting nice and low. Is that pretty cool, bud? Nice big squat. We're gonna do that one more time, shifting our weight into the toes. Thank you. Straightening, lifting the hips up towards the sky. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude, isn't it? Shift it back, back into the heel. So again, we're getting that stretch through the calf. We're just trying to slowly just press our weight in. Yes, we are working the thighs, of course, by sitting into this chair, but we're getting that nice stretch into the calves as well. Oh, let's stand up straight, wiggle out those legs, give them a little break, bring our toes together. So feet are nice in one long line. We are gonna warm up the calves, or the calves, the quads a little more. So let's just bend deep into the legs. We're gonna bring our hands in towards heart center. Again, tucking the tailbone under, drawing the belly in towards the spine. All we're gonna do is take a little twist. So pick which side you wanna start with. I'm gonna go ahead and twist on over to the left side. So again, just pressing my hands firmly together and I'm starting, starting to twist. So I don't wanna lose my form into my chair. So I'm just doing a little minor twist to get started because who knows, it could be the morning, could be the evening, whatever, when your back's a little tighter. So we're just gonna slowly twist in. Making sure we're still breathing, sitting in nice and low, starting to work that spine twist. Keeping our left foot forward or whichever leg you chose, we're gonna step back. So we're gonna keep that twist towards um, the bent knee forward and we're gonna come into a high lunge twist. So you might notice you might get a little more twist now while we stretch our right leg back. But I'm making sure all four corners of my front foot are gently pressing into the mat, and I'm pressing into the ball of the back foot. Getting that nice stretch. If I start to lean forward, I may be able to twist a little bit further. So now my weight of my body is coming forward over my knee. I'm making sure I'm not collapsing in, so gently pressing that knee away. We're gonna bring it back into center. Left foot's gonna meet the right. Coming back into that chair pose, I'll switch towards you. We're just gonna open up into a cactus. We're gonna open again across the chest here in this cactus pose. Again, making sure our tailbone's tucked under. Why we do this one is to really get that nice slow opening across the chest and into the shoulders. We can have a lot of tension that can ride or maybe from typing or sitting at a computer all day. It's beautiful, buddy, thank you. From here, we're just gonna bring our hands into heart center real quick. I'm gonna keep my left foot down, inhaling my right foot up. 
coming into a one-legged mountain. So I wanna work my balance here. It's getting all those stabilizing muscles into my grounded left leg to really start to activate and hold me here. Taking my hands, I'm just gonna press them down, feeling that nice stretch through my forearms all the way down, keeping my fingers activated, so fingertips towards me and keeping our foot flex. Yes, you want some of those? Okay, hold on, baby. And from here, we're just gonna start to bend into the knee a little more, starting to lift our right heel up, coming into a quad stretch. There you go, well, that's gross. Don't worry, I just put a whole bunch of cracker dust onto the carpet, we'll vacuum that later. Keeping our knees in one line. We're just gonna get that nice quad stretch, so as we activate it into our chair pose, we wanna give it a little release here. So getting that nice stretch all the way through up from our hip down through the knee. Keeping that stretch for one more breath, I'm just gonna turn so I can keep one foot forward. And on our exhale, we're gonna extend that leg all the way back, coming into a warrior two. I'm gonna switch around so I can stay facing towards you. Our heels are gonna be in one nice long line, getting deep into the bend of that left front knee. We're gonna shoot our arms straight out. If I look down, making sure I can see that big toe into the inside of my knee, that means I'm really opening up and pulling my knee away. Fingertips are nice and strong, pointing to opposite sides of the room. So staying firmly grounded here. Hey. What's going on? Giving a little more stretch. You have some on the floor, dude. We'll hold it for one more breath just because I want to really warm up that front leg here. Yes, thank you, making sure I'm squeezing through my back glute, staying nice and grounded. Keeping our arms just like they are. We're just going to inhale straight in that front leg. So we're coming into a little triangle pose, keeping that micro bend into the knee. I want you to hinge forward, but we're not going to tip all the way into the triangle. From here, we're just gonna bring our fingertips together up towards the center. So I'm just kinda at a 45 with my upper body. Exhale, opening up the arms, keeping the thumbs in peripheral vision. Inhale, squeeze, pulling it together. Exhale, slowly open. One more time, let's inhale, pull it together. Exhale, we'll open. We're gonna pivot onto the ball of that front foot, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So feet can be either parallel to the sides of the mat or toes slightly in stretching our arms out. We're just going to fall forward here, keeping the upper body up. Arms can stay like this. Or we're going to take an interlace grip behind our back, squeezing the palms together. And while I'm staying up and not falling all the way over, again, I want to work on that stretch through the hamstring. So as my weight's into the toes, I'm working my balance here. I'm really having to activate through my core to stay stabilized. And of course, anytime there's a shoulder squeeze, we're working those shoulders. You haven't played with that in forever. You're crazy, man. Let's take one more full round of breath. And we'll inhale, slowly start to straighten up through those legs. I guess our torso, our legs were always straight. Now you're just distracting me. What are we gonna do? Let's hinge forward. We're gonna keep to that front side leg. So we're just gonna come into that adductor stretch. So our toe on the left foot is gonna open up. So toes towards the corner, heel in. And we're just going to slowly bend into it. So it's like that side squat, but we're working the inside of the leg onto the opposite one. And of course, always activating through that bent knee. So we're keeping... <laughs> In case you guys are wondering, this remote doesn't go to anything, but it's his favorite toy. We let him think he's doing something. Yeah. Nailing it, dude. Yeah, you're nailing it. Let's take one more big inhale. And exhale, we'll straighten through the legs. Let's bring them together to touch again, wiggling it out. If you want to switch, we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to stay sticking with you for one more because we're going to sit back into that chair. So our feet are coming together. Yeah, does that feel nice? We're going to take that little twist on over to the opposite side. So we'll do it this way. Yes, we're going to twist on over. So sink in low, twist, twist, twist. This time that opposite foot's gonna stay forward. We're gonna slide our leg back. Maybe. Can I slide back? Excuse me. Thank you. Squeezing through our foot here. Staying nice and grounded and stabilized. <laughs> Again, as we can lean forward, if we'd like to get that little more twist into our body. You're just like all up in my grill. I love it. 
in case anyone has littles at home or pets, the tree is the coolest thing. So as you can see, we're trying to cage him out of it. It's not working so awesome, but that's fine. Taking one more inhale here. Let's bring our gaze back to center, making sure we're always looking where we're going, bringing the back foot in to meet the right, coming back into that chair pose. Again, we're gonna open, us, open up for that nice cactus stretch. So squeezing the shoulder blades together, fingertips up, sitting back and down, tucking the tailbone under. Stay nice and firmly grounded here. Ooh, I'm starting to get a little warm. Yes, feels so good. Okay, one more big inhale here. And on that exhale, we're gonna come into that one-legged mountain to the opposite side. So I'm gonna go this way. That way we can try a different view. So we're gonna inhale our knee up. Woohoo! in line with our hip. Like I said, it is a balance challenge. Apparently I'm already struggling. Making sure we're keeping that front foot flexed, belly buttons drawn in nice and strong. Press those hands down. Feeling the grounding sensation occurring as we're pressing our hands towards the floor. Let's take one more full round of breath to get that little extra balance challenge. Bending the knee, we're gonna hinge it back, coming into our quad stretch. Oh, again, that feels so nice. I don't wanna make sure I'm dumping into one leg, so I'm staying activated into my grounded leg. So I'm squeezing through the glute to stay nice and firmly planted here. My hips are gonna stay square. Oh, if you look around, apparently it gets harder. Let's do one more full round of breath. <laughs> and on the exhale, we're gonna take that leg all the way back, coming into our warrior two. Again, finding that nice long stance grounded here, heels in one line, tucking the tailbone under, arms up nice and strong, sink it in. If you remember, this is our last activation we did. We have one more little surprise, I guess. Activation into that quad. So I want you to sit nice and low, feeling that grounding stabilization, squeezing through our left glute to stay here. Let's take one more big full round of breath. And our inhale will straighten through our front leg again, keeping that micro bend. Oh, that's nice, you found a present. I promise he doesn't do this all the time. It's just when I'm recording, I'm pretty sure, is when he finds all these new things. Inhale, let's reach forward, staying stabilized here, bringing the arms together out out of 45. That same thing we did on the other side. Inhale, squeeze those arms open, squeezing the shoulder blades back, fingertips in line. Exhale, pull it together like we're gonna squeeze for that ball or reaching out for someone. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. This time we're gonna rotate onto the ball of that front foot, but we're gonna come into a goddess squat. I don't really want you to have that. Thank you. So the goddess squat, our toes are out, heels are in. Keeping the chest lifted again, tailbone is tucked under. Hands can be wherever you want, but we're gonna start out, I guess I just said you could be wherever you want, but I'm gonna tell you what to do anyway, so that's cute. Okay, so heels are in, toes are out. We're gonna start with our hands out straight away, like we're pressing firmly into the ground. So I'm feeling that connection starting to occur between the hands and the floor. You can stay right here, or we're gonna inhale one heel up. Option to inhale the other. So while I'm on the balls of my feet, I'm feeling that activation. I'm gonna bring my hands together and press my fingertips together. So yes, my quads are working, but I really want that focus to be into my fingers and into my toes for that stretch. And of course, a lot of stabilizing is occurring by holding me here. But for that full body, I wanna focus again, fingers and toes, fingers and toes. I'm distracting you that your quads are on fire. You are welcome. Let's take one more big inhale. Exhale, bring our heels down. We'll open up again, like we're pressing firmly into the ground. Press, press, press. One more big inhale. Exhale, we'll come to the adductor to the other side. So staying high into that side lunge, feeling a nice stretch down through the leg. Yeah. We'll hold it here for two more rounds of breath. Mm -hmm. Thanks, bud. You're so cute. Inhale, press forward again. We're going to bring those feet together. We're going to end with that nice little hamstring uh, calf stretch one more time. So coming into that chair pose, hands onto the thighs. We're just going to inhale, bringing our weight to the toes, hinging the hips up. Nice little stretch. Exhale, pull through, calf stretch here. Inhale, weight to the toes. Exhale, pull back. Let's inhale, stand up nice and strong, wiggling out. 
Again, that side body stretch, inhaling both arms up, taking one arm up and over. One last time. Inhale, arm up. Opposite side, keeping the chin lifted. Holding everything together, both arms up. One more big inhale. Exhale, lowering the arms by the sides, releasing the shoulders down, back and away. And hopefully everyone's feeling a little more released all the way through while staying standing and grounded. So have a fantastic day and thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of Kaler Ace Wellness. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe and have a fabulous day.